Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm about to share something that is like a revelation and some truths that are very necessary. The kingdom of God is really at hand. So what John was saying in the New Testament is actually real. He was saying repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. A lot of happenings around the world are really things that call for attention. There are things that if you, if you see or hear, you will actually have to sit down for a moment and meditate upon it. Because there are no more normal happenings. And they are not just out of chance or luck. So, there are no coincidences. All of these are fulfillment to prophecy. In the Bible, there are several prophecies. Numerous ones that Jesus you know, gave. Apart from Jesus, the prophets also gave. And if you check the prophets, Isaiah, Jer Jeremiah, and so on and so forth, you will see some prophecies that they gave that actually came to pass in the 20th and 21st century. And also Jesus also gave some of the end time prophecies that will happen. A lot of them, in fact almost all of them, have been fulfilled. And if you look at what is going on today, Turkey was a was was a victim recently of an earthquake and after that earthquake a few days later another earthquake happened and you know a lot of lives were lost a lot of buildings were destroyed cars were destroyed properties and all of that it was chaotic it was catastrophic and um one thing with these natural disasters is I really feel sorry for any victim of any natural disaster because there are things that they are not planned, there is no explanation to them. It just happens. And that is it. Like if I move to a new country, I don't know whether in the nearest future any natural disaster is going to happen. Everything looks so peaceful and calm. And everybody goes about their day-to-day -day life and nobody really knows if something like this is gonna happen so yes earthquakes are one of the signs that Jesus gave you know for the end time he also talked about wars how that brother will fight against brother and and country will fight against country and there will be wars Ukraine is actually, I can call Ukraine a brother to Russia. But now they are fighting. Russia invaded Ukraine like a big bully. And the fight is still ongoing till now. And this is not just any diplomatic stuff. This is real war. Like There is devastation. People that were in Ukraine have left. They have run for their lives. It's a terrible thing. And in several other countries, there are little t acts of terrorism and fighting going on that are not just on a large scale like that of Ukraine. What am I saying? Many prophecies have been fulfilled. So, we should be preparing ourselves for the rapture. I mean, as saints, there is no better time to get our things together, get ourselves together, and actually prepare for the second coming of Christ. If you look at it, this world is actually not our home, right? So we have a home in heaven. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. So yes, we should actually prepare for the second coming of Christ because it's no longer far it's very very close I think it's very very close based on what has been happening 
in the world today. It's pretty close and the enemy would not sleep on this opportunity. This is a time when he is actively trying to distract Christians and believers away from the faith and away from their heavenly race. So yes, we should become very conscious of our destination, very conscious of where we are heading to as Christians, which is heaven, because we are all running a race. You know, Paul said, I have fought a good fight, I have run my race, I have finished well. So I pray that that will be our, our story as believers. Each and every one of you watching this video, I pray that that would be your testimony at the end of it all. It's going to be glorious. You just have an assignment to do. Go read Matthew 24. You'll see a lot of things that Jesus said about the end time. Even if you read Matthew 7, you would see the picture he was trying to paint. And what scares me the most is how he said, not all that call me Lord, Lord, would enter into the kingdom of heaven. So it means that there are, you can actually be going to church every Sunday. You can be a pastor. You can be doing the work of God. It might look like God is using you, but it's still possible that heaven does not know you. I don't want every one of us to know these facts. That is why you should not play with your faith as a Christian. So yes, if you have not given your life to Jesus and you are watching this, it's your chance now. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. So I just want you to repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I know that I am a sinner. And I pray that you would forgive me my sins. And give me a new life. Take the old nature of sin away from me and replace it with the new nature of Christ, the nature of righteousness. I am yours, Lord. Use me as you wish. Come into my life. Be my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving me. For in Jesus' name. I've prayed. So if you prayed that prayer, congratulations. You're now a child of God. Live and walk in the righteousness of God. See you on the next video. Please like, subscribe, share. And God be with you. Peace out.